I want to thank Ikaba for having the, the wisdom, the thoughtfulness to, to be here at FIU. We're proud of the relationship. We believe in partnerships. And I want to invite you, while you're having a good time, to figure out a way that we can work more closely together. Tonight we are going to applaud and let all of these people in our community who are doing good things for themselves and for the community, let them know that we are proud of them, that we are proud of the work that they do, and we are proud of their work ethic, and more importantly, we're proud of the fact that they are setting such a great example for the next generation. So thank you again for letting me be here tonight and allowing me to be your MC. Now, ICABA has clearly been at the forefront, as Horace mentioned, of identifying, connecting, and activating the black accomplished in our community. And tonight, we are all going to bear witness to the fruit of ICABA's labor as we celebrate South Florida's most accomplished in 15 categories. And we're talking from law and medicine to government and community leadership. So before we even start calling names, we just want to give a round of applause for everyone who is here tonight that is going to be honored. And now the presenting sponsor for this evening is MetLife, and they were another very early supporter of this event tonight. Underwriting the ICABA Business at Breakfast series, the business forums, and of course networking events. Please welcome to the stage Tunde Ogolana. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, uh, ICABA, first of all, and Jerome and Angelique. And uh, this is a special evening for me because I'm also an FIU alum. So it is um, a pleasure to be here and um, welcome everyone here on behalf of MetLife. And I'll uh, just keep it short and say enjoy the evening. Thanks so much. FIU, that's my second heart. FIU gave me the opportunity to provide for my family. And as a result of that, um, I've achieved more than I thought I would ever achieve. And now it's my responsibility to put others in that same position. Kareem Coney, the Director of Community Outreach and Retention at Florida Memorial University and the ICABA Rising Star in Academia. Daima Lindo, the Founder and CEO of Starlint, the ICABA Rising Star in the Arts. Henri Crockett, President and CEO of the Crockett Foundation, the ICABA Rising Star in Community Service. Next, we have Tommy Rose, real estate agent for Sotheby's, the ICABA Rising Star Corporate. Next, we have Paul Wilson, the admin director of labor relations for Miami-Dade Public Schools. And he is the rising star in education. The ICABA 2013 rising star elected official is Florida State Representative of District 101, Chevron Jones. Next, we have Peter Bailey, the CEO of IamPeterBailey.com, rising star in entertainment. Next, we have ICABA rising star entrepreneur, Brian Brackeen, the founder and CEO of Kairos. Next, we have the rising star faith-based, and that is Dr. Belinda John, the editor-in-chief of the Shulamite Women magazine. The rising star as government administrator, Shahiwa Jared Gellin, assistant chief counsel of Homeland Security. Our rising star in healthcare is Dr. Ebony Wizenot, associate professor at Florida International University. Our rising star legal is Yolanda Strader Esquire, attorney at Carlton Field. Our rising star in media, Gregory Lee, executive sports editor for the Sun Sentinel. Our rising star in philanthropy, James and Destiny Jones of James Jones Legacy Foundation. And the ICABA rising star in sports is James Taylor, CEO of Tailored Athletes, Inc. Congratulations. I am honored and pleased to be here tonight on this campus of FIU with more than 52,000 students. And as honorary chair, I simply want to join you in applauding our honorees tonight for all of them are certainly worthy of this recognition. Will you say amen to that? Amen. 
Thank you, Dr. Adams. And in addition to highlighting the individuals and achievements at tonight's gala, our honorees will be featured also in the 2013 ICABA directory, which can be accessed at www.icabaworld.com. Educating tomorrow's attorneys today. That is what drives Athornia Steele as Dean of Nova Southeastern's Broad Law Center. Steele believes attorneys have an obligation to make the practice of law better. As founder of Ashanti Cultural Arts, Linda has facilitated the creation of programs that enhance our community through the arts, literacy, and wellness. Gypsy Medalist has built her life around serving the Haitian American population. And for two decades, she's used her voice to elevate those concerns into action. Mark Kent's life is truly defined by service. In college, he continued impacting people by serving on mission trips to Guatemala, Haiti, Honduras, and other countries. Nationally recognized as a turnaround specialist in education, Dr. Steve Gallen has successfully changed the academic trajectory of underperforming schools from Florida to Wisconsin. Oliver Gilbert is a lifelong resident of the city he now runs as mayor of Miami Gardens. It's the third largest municipality in Miami-Dade County. Grammy-nominated songwriters and producers Big D and Kane and Lamb have worked with the biggest names in R&B, hip-hop, and pop. Robert Beatty is on top of the important issues of the day, applying his business savviness to make the South Florida Times the newspaper to read. Dr. Hughes is highly active in the community. As senior pastor of one of South Florida's oldest mega ministries, he's been blessed to touch the lives of thousands of people. Managing the $4 billion budget of Broward County demands not just integrity, but talent. And Bertha Henry personifies both. Through the Association of Haitian Doctors Abroad, Dr. Bro and his colleagues educate and support excellence in medical knowledge around the world. Jared Davis oversees 160 attorneys and 200 staff at the founding office of Greenberg Traurig in Miami. Award-winning journalist Doug Lyons has the privilege of sharing his opinion with hundreds of thousands of people every day on the pages of South Florida's largest newspaper. Dr. Larry believes everyone has a responsibility to give something back, if not money, then service. The game and business of golf is Ernie Ellison's focus as he works to bring more people of color, women, and the underserved into the sport. Thank you an awful lot to ICABA. Um, when I learned that I was going to be honored as one of the live, living legends, I thought, oh, Lordy, this is really something that I wasn't prepared for. You know, you don't get out and do your work because you want to be recognized for it or you expect to be recognized for it. But when you get involved in something that you really enjoy doing, you make a commitment to do it and you get it done, and hopefully at a level where those that are receiving the benefits of your effort will have benefited themselves uh, from the work. One of the uh, organizations closest to my heart is Delta. I've been a Delta now uh, October 50 years, and I am too excited about that. <laughs> Delta is an organization that not only allows you to reach out and help the community, but it helps you to grow as well. And we've, I've had some great mentors um, in the organization of Delta Sigma Theta. For, for that, I'm very proud. But um, I do, again, um, thank ICABA for recognizing me. And it's quite a, an honor and quite a, a challenge to be listed as a living, living legend. So I'm hoping that I've got a lot more years to go. And um, maybe there are a lot more accomplishments than I can achieve in the few years that I have left. So thank you again uh, to Jerome Hutch Hutchinson, the staff, and all of you who made this possible. Thank you. I'd like to give thanks to ICABA, not only for this honor, but for the work that they do. Anybody who knows me knows that I would not be very much without the love and care and support of my beloved Precious, and I must give her special thanks. First of all is, the best way to keep from being used is to make sure that you are needed. The second is my favorite, I think, and that is, you cannot enlighten others if you ain't lit up yourself. <laughs> I just ask that you observe faith not as a noun, but as a verb, and therefore faith is the substance of things hoped for.
Faith is the evidence of things not seen. And in the final analysis, it's whether you and I can face ourselves and say with truth, I have kept thy laws, and I have held fast to my vision of good, that I may become a worthy citizen of the kingdom of God. Thank you so much. The number one professional organization of the year is the Association of Haitian Doctors Abroad. When we say identify, we did that tonight. When we say connect, we've also done that tonight. When we say activate, that's an ongoing process. And so we're looking forward to understanding that this is not the end, this is the beginning. Thank you very much, and we look forward to seeing you again here again next year.